A few comments to my previous videos ask how I transfer character animations between different rigs and packages, especially Mixamo animations. Mixamo is a web tool from Adobe that offers a rig assistant, 3D characters and an animation library. Custom characters can be used as well, provided that their limbs follow the Mixamo naming convention. I created a Blender add-on, XP Kit, to exchange characters between Rigify, Mixamo and Unreal Engine. It spares me the trouble of renaming the bones manually and is less prone to errors. XP Kit can be downloaded from GitHub, installed via the add-on window and activated in the rigging section. So, if I want to use an Unreal character on Mixamo.com, I can export the FBX and import it in Blender. The imported character contains levels of detail, which I don't need, so I am going to keep only one mesh. The right-click menu will show a few additional entries when the active character is in pose mode. The convert bone names operator renames the bones from a source type, in this case Unreal, to a destination type. I will select Mixamo. Now our character can be exported again as an FBX that will be uploaded to Mixamo. The default options are kind of ok, but we will better disable the add leaf bones feature or make sure not to export anything else besides our skeleton and character meshes. If everything went ok, we will be able to see our character in the animation library. We can select an animation, tweak a few parameters if we wish, and download the animated FBX. It is important that we download our character with skin. Mixamo defaults to a T-pose when we download the skeleton alone. Back to Blender, we import the animated character. The mesh can have wrong rotations because of different scene axes, but that's easily fixed with a 90 degrees rotation on the X. We change the bone names the other way around, this time from Mixamo to Unreal. Thanks to how Blender works, a renamed skeleton retains scanning and active animation. This rig can be exported to FBX and imported into Unreal. Again, the default options are ok, but we can disable the mesh and obtain a smaller FBX. We are only interested in the animation data. This file can be dragged to Unreal Engine, assigned to the mannequin skeleton, and voila, new animation. There's much more that this add-on can do. I hope to show more in the future, for now, bye bye.